Thank you so much for coming here today. My name is Nuno. I do work for Algolia. And today I'm going to talk to you about Scout Extended. But before I make you understand what Scout Extended is, I'm going to show you what Scout means in the first place. Typically, this is the way of doing search using Laravel. What do you do is you take the query out of the request, you send that query into the query builder, where you perform some join conditions, some where conditions, and then you get models out of it, and you send those models into the view. Pretty basic, and behind the scenes, it's also basic. You are just performing search operations in your database. Now, in 2016, Laravel have realized the package Scout, which is a way of giving a search functionality into your, your Laravel application. Concerning the developer experience, we, do, we did have an improvement because Scout had a new method called search into your searchable models, which means you still get the query out of the request, but now you are sending that query into this new search method. You are still getting models and sending those models into the view. Now, behind the scenes, things change a little bit because the right operations, every time you save an article, update an article, that article is going to your database as well, but now Scout forwards your data to the searchable engine, to the search engine. And now you are no longer making search operations in your database, but you are making search operations using a search engine. Now, this is really important. Why should you use a search engine in the first place? And for two main reasons. The first one is relevance. You want to give to your, to your users exactly what they're searching for. And you also want to leverage some features such as typo tolerance. When the users make a mistake on your search input, you still want them to get the correct results at the end. And also the speed. Speed is important. The users don't like to wait. And by the way, Algolia is super fast. Now, let me say to you that Scout is engine agnostic, which means that it supports Algolia behind the scenes and officially, but it also supports Elasticsearch, TNT Search, and many others. But due to the fact that Scout is engine agnostic, it's also generic, keeps search simple, and you cannot leverage the full power of Algolia. And for this reason, we have created Scout Extended. And you can see Scout Extended as a Laravel Scout, but with Algolia specific features. And today I'm gonna demo Scout Extended for you. And on this demo, I'm gonna show you how can you improve the search experience with Scout Extended. I'm gonna show you how can you re-index your data with zero downtime. <coughs> I'm gonna show you how can you have a status overview of your indexes, and also how can you have multiple indexes in the same index using aggregators. Before showing the features, I'm gonna show you the demo project that I've prepared for you. This is normal UI for a search experience, which means you do have an input but you also have some, res some search results below. And since this is a fresh application of Laravel with Scout, it doesn't have Scout extended yet, but I can, also, I can already leverage some Algolia features such as typo tolerance. So if I do search for Laravel with the mistake, the double hey here, I still get results, which is cool. Now, behind the scenes, this is a pretty normal Laravel application. On a HAP structure, we do have an article, event, an article model here, which is searchable by Scout. We do have an event model here, which is, is not searchable. And 
the structure of those models are also basic. On the article, I do have an ID, an image, title, author, slug, and a number of likes. And the structure of the events is the same. Now, on the HTTP layer, we also are basic here, which means I do have a single route where I do take the query, send the query into the search method of Scout, I, I retrieve the models, and I send the models to the view. Now, let's take a look about some common problems while using searching in Laravel. The first one is, here I have searched for Laravel with a typo. But in first place, I'm not seeing the most relevant result. Because right below, I do have an article created by Taylor Otwell with, with 9,000 likes on it. Which means, probably, this article right here should be in the first place. Another thing, though, is the fact that if I copy-paste something that exists on this image, such as the number, I still get some results out of it. So probably the image URL should not be searchable, because this is just a normal random, uh, random number, right? Another thing is some people search using natural language, which means if I search install Laravel, I get results. But if I search using natural language, such as can, can I install Laravel, I'm not getting results out of it, and probably I should. Now, let's fix those issues using Scout Extended. So the first topic is, how can you improve the search experience using this package? In order to install, Scout Extended is pretty simple. You just have to type Composer require Algolia Scout Extended. So I'm just pulling the package through Composer. Now, after installing this package through Composer, you will notice that if you type art, uh, PHP artisan, sorry, you do have the basic scout commands such as flush and import. Everyone can see the screen, the, the, it's, the font is fine? Okay, cool. The uh, scout offers by default the flush and the import, but with scout extended, we, you have way more commands. So we do have here some commands extract to work with your scout application. And since we are talking about optimizing the search experience, let's type PHP artisan scout optimize. Now, a couple things happen here. Take a look. The first thing that happens is scout extended detects all your searchable models for you. Which means that you don't have to type under your command line what models are searchable. Scout extended does that for you. And then it creates a settings file out of your model, which means this is a settings file with specific Algolia features in order to, to improve your search experience. And Scout Extended have written your, your model in order to build that settings file. Let's take a look into this settings file. The settings file is created over config, scout, and named the name of the model. And in here, we do have a couple things. The first thing is, Scout Extended have detected that only the title, the author, and the slug should be searchable. So the problem of having the image URL as a searchable attribute is no longer there. And again, Scout Extended also have detected that the custom ranking is the number of likes descending, which means that Scout Extended have detected that the number of likes should be relevant. So on the search results, the Art Taylor Otwell article will be displayed in the first place. <coughs> and also, something really cool, cool is the remove stop words. <coughs> By default, it's null, but if I set this setting at true, we are able to search using natural language, <coughs> which means in order to retrieve the article that match the criteria install Laravel, I can also type, can I install Laravel? And Algolia is smart enough to understand that we are searching for install Laravel keywords. Now, we just have reviewed this settings file 
Let's now send the settings file into our Boolean index. I'm going to get back into my terminal and I'm going to type scout sync. This command will basically say, okay, I have detected that I, I didn't have settings yet remotely, so I'm just receiving your updating file. Now, we do create a file locally, which can be really useful when you want to perform some backups locally of your settings. Eventually later, if you change from Algolia account, you still have these settings as a backup of your settings. Now, now that we have uh, uploaded all the settings file, we can see what happened here in our demo project. The first thing is, I'm now searching for, can I install Laravel? And I'm getting search results, which can be really cool because Algolia behind the scenes understand that the can and the high are stop words, should not be taken in consideration. And now if I type, can I install Laravel in Symfony? I will not get results because Algolia detect that Symfony should, not, should be taken in consideration. Another thing is, if I type Laravel, Taylor Otwell article is now in the first place. So it's, uh, Scott Extended have detected that this article is really relevant when people are searching for Laravel. And finally, if I do search for an image for something that exists on this image URL, I no longer have search results, which means that we have optimized the search experience, in, which is pretty cool. Now, you can go even further because Algolia have a lot of options like this. You can you just go to algolia.com slash doc and you will find a couple of options that you can use to optimize your search experience. Let's move along to cool stuff. Now, this is really important. I'm gonna talk to you about re-index your data with zero downtime. When you're using scout only, you have access to two commands as I show you. You have access to the flush command and the import command. In production, when you need to re-import your data, you, have, you are forced to flush your data in production, which means delete your index records, and then you have to import your data again. And meanwhile, if you are using a product which is a shop or e-commerce platform, you are losing money because people don't have access to the search functionality. Now, with Scott Extended, we have fixed, we have fixed this. If we take a look onto the terminal, if I do type the list of artisan commands, I do have a command here called scout reimport. Now, this command, when I run this command, obviously will detect again the searchable models for us. We don't need to type it, but three things happen here. The first one is we create a temporary index. The second thing is we import all your data to that temporary index. And finally, at the end, we just replace the production index by the temporary one, which leads to zero downtime. I'm gonna demo this to you using real code. Um, on Sublime Tanks, I'm gonna just go to the reimport command, which is the command that does all of this work. And at the end of the command, uh, just right here, I'm gonna have an echo saying that I'm sleeping. And I'm going to also make a sleep of 10 seconds. Now, if I launch this command, I will see the sleep message. And at, the, at that time, I'm going to do uh, try to use the search functionality. So here, I'm going to see the sleeping. And meanwhile, I'm going to search for something here. And as you can see, I'm using the search functionality while my data is being reimported, which can be pretty cool and leads to zero downtime while you are importing your data. <laughs> now, let's move on to status overview of our indexes. With Scout, you don't have a way of knowing the current status of your indexation. If you wanna know how many models are searchable, you have to check the code. If you wanna know how many records you have locally, you have to do a SQL query. And if you want to know how many records you have remotely, you have to just go to Algolia dashboard. And with Scout Extended, we have fixed this. I'm going to get over into the terminal and I'm going to type art scout status. This command is really cool because it displays, I'm going to just make this bigger. 
it displays a table which contains every, every searchable model of your application. It contains the name of the index. It contains information about if the settings are up to date or not. And also the number of local and remote records. So you know exactly what's going on. And just to give you an example, if I head over into, into my uh, Scout articles here, I'm gonna just change the settings into false here on the remove stop words. And now, if I rerun this command, you will see that I do have the information that the local settings got updated. And I do know that I need to perform an action on this. Also, if I type art scout flush in order to remove my rem remote data, and now I can again perform the scout status in order to know that all the remote records got uh, deleted. So give you really nice information that you can use in order to understand the current status of your indexation. Now, let's move on into my favorite feature, which is aggregators. If you use Scout, you know that a model is always related to an index, which means you cannot have multiple types of models in the same index. So every time you want to provide a search experience, you have to search or for articles or for threads or whatever. With aggregators, we have solved this. Now you can search using a, ser a single search input in different types of models because you can have multiple models in the same index. I'm gonna demo this to you. How can you implement aggregators in your project? So you just have to type art scout, first the list of commands. So we do have here a scout make aggregator, which is if I do type art scout make aggregator and I do type the name of the aggregator here, I do recommend you to use a generic name because you are, you are going to have multiple models here. So I do create a new aggregator class. And if I head over here, the aggregated class is created under HAP, search, news. And now this news is, a new, is a, an aggregator, which is something that you can define which models should be aggregated in. So here I'm gonna type, when people search on news, I want them to search on articles, but also on events. And now, if I do change my HTTP layer, I can just say, okay, now I want people to search on news instead of searching on articles, which leads, if I go to my demo project, uh, sorry, I need to re-import my data. <laughs> so I'm gonna just import again, which leads, I'm now, if I now search, I do have events here, but I also, have articles and events again, we can, which, which can be a really great search experience when you are searching different types of things in the same search input. Now, those are the f some features of Scout Extended, but we do have way more than this. We have macros, facades, front-end directives, and much more. If you have enjoyed this demo, I definitely recommend you to go to github.com, I'll go list Scout Extended, put the star in the right corner. And I'm glad to announce that we have just realized the beta, the version 0.1. Please check my Twitter account for some updates and thank you.